Oui. Thanks very much, Rory. Uh, we have about uh, 20 minutes for questions, and uh, we have two microphones right here if people wouldn't mind uh, lining up. And I would also ask if um, it's question period, not speech making period. Um, <laughs> Uh, and I'll be delighted to cut anyone off that uh, wants to start. Is there anyone that has a question? Oh, there's somebody standing right there. As me, after you. Mr. Stewart, thank you very much. This was amazing. Um, can you hear me? Yeah. I was wondering, what is your advice to the international community about uh, Afghanistan's neighbors? Because uh, Afghanistan has Iran and Pakistan who are, who are actively involved players in the local game. And a lot of times we hear a lot, of, a lot about Afghanistan uh, from the international community, but they seem to not factor in the role, the effective role that, the, that these two neighbors can play in bringing about uh, stability. Um, right, this is a, it's a great question. The, the answer, of course, is that the international community is paralyzed at the moment. I'm uh, working with Ambassador Holbrook, who may or may not be, probably will be, the Afghan-Pakistan envoy uh, of the new Obama administration. And he keeps talking about a regional context. He keeps saying, you know, we cannot see Afghanistan alone. We have to see it within a regional context. And everybody nods very wisely. But it's very difficult to understand what that's actually going to mean. Certainly it's true, right? Afghanistan's problems are in many ways not really caused by Afghanistan. A great number of the problems that occur in Afghanistan at the moment are generated out of Pakistan. The Taliban, for example, are able to go back and forth across the border. The uh, inter-services intelligence of the Pakistan military are still providing covert support to the Taliban. The Iranians are providing, from time to time, bombs. And the instability of the whole northwest frontier province in Balochistan is causing huge problems for Afghanistan. In fact, from a counter-terrorism point of view, from the point of view of the kind of reasons why we went into Afghanistan after September the 11th, Pakistan is now much more problematic than Afghanistan. It's a much more dangerous place in terms of al-Qaeda, not in terms of Taliban, but in terms of al-Qaeda. So theoretically, sorting out a policy that could encompass Pakistan and Iran would be very, very useful for Afghanistan. Useful in two ways. Firstly, if Pakistan itself became a much more stable, settled, well-governed place on the frontier, that would deprive al-Qaeda and even the Taliban of the kind of safe haven which allows them to operate with impunity and cause so much trouble. But secondly, of course, Pakistan and Iran are neighboring Muslim countries with enormous experience and understanding of Afghanistan. They ought to be able to play a constructive role, and they ought to have an interest in playing that role. Theoretically, of course, we keep saying, Ambassador Holbrook keeps saying, Afghanistan is a threat to global stability. We must make Afghanistan stable. If we can make Afghanistan stable, then we can make the whole region stable. Unfortunately, the only people who seem to believe this at the moment are the United States, Canada, and Europe. If you look at the people who actually put money into the Paris conference, you don't get Pakistan, Iran, uh, Russia, Uzbekistan, China rushing to say, oh, we must ensure the stability of Afghanistan. Let's you know, put in $20 billion. It's, it's we who believe that it's central to regional stability. The neighboring powers appear to continue to behave as though an unstable Afghanistan is something they can handle and may even be in their interests. So, yes, absolutely, central to Afghanistan. But I'm yet to see us produce something that would actually get Pakistan and Iran to the table. Something that we could offer them where they could genuinely make a sincere effort. And of course, the Afghans themselves are so suspicious of their neighbors, blame Pakistan for so many of their problems over the last 20 years, they themselves would be very reluctant to work with them. But unless that happens, unless we work out how to do that, then you're absolutely right. There is no solution to Afghanistan within Afghanistan itself only. Unless it can deal with the neighbors, it's going to continue to remain a victim.